Number of sales and prices of homes have come down. They're on a downward trend the last two months, the data shows. Thanks for coming back to this channel where you get up to date market information and data so you can meet your real estate goals. So the number of closed transactions, closings, that means properties that actually closed escrow in July was down 14.4% from June and June was already down. And we're down from last July, from July to July, 31.1%. So definitely a lot less sales a lot less closings. And now the projections are that we'll have less closings, less closed homes, less sales this year than at any point the last six years when we're on an upward trajectory during the pandemic. And so the median price of homes actually went down for the second month in a row. Uh, it went down 3.5% to 833 in California. And that's still up about 2.8% from uh, July of 2021. And so the prices of homes are, are going down. And so why is it the homes are going down is because the interest rate, everyone knows the rates went up and the home homes became too unaffordable for most families. And so it took a $200,000 a year payment to, to qualify for a $5,000 a month uh, payment, principal interest taxes at a 30 year fixed 5.4 interest rate. Um, and only 16% of households could actually qualify for the median price home. And so that's why people just said, I'm not gonna buy, it's too much. And so right now, buyers have some advantages. Here they are. There's fewer offers on properties over the last few months and homes are lasting longer on the market. It's not where a home's gonna go on the market and that weekend it's gonna get multiple offers. It's not happening. So there's fewer homes selling above the asking price. So you don't initially need to uh, offer the asking price um, unless it's a price right home. Especially if it's been on the market for a while. And so there's more homes available because homes are lasting longer in the market. You have options to choose from. And, and so that, that's a positive for buyers. So the projections going forward are that the rates are gonna go down next year, as has happened in previous uh, recessions, average of 2.21% rate going down during the recession. And when that happens, the homes are gonna sell more quickly. There are more offers. There'll be a home selling above the asking price. The supply of homes is gonna shrink because the homes are gonna sell quicker. So if you have any further real estate questions, feel free to contact me with no obligation. We can talk on the phone, we can meet over Zoom, or we can meet in person. Uh, if I don't hear back from you, uh, I'll see you in the next video.